Welcome to this so Windows and Computer channel. And of course, yesterday was Patch Tuesday, the Windows updates for security that are on the second Tuesday of every month. So what was in there? Was there a lot of stuff? Yep, there was a lot. If you're on Windows 7, you had 35 vulnerabilities. Four are critical and 31 important. Remember, important means that it's not easy to actually have the problem, uh, you know, being hacked, for example. But it's important to still fix it just in case. Often it's because you need physical access to the computer. But critical means that it could already be exploited by the bad guys and that it's easy to do often just by visiting a page on the internet that has that uh, uh, you know special script. So that's why it's important to apply these updates. If you're on Windows 8.1, 31 vulnerabilities, 3 rated critical, 34 important. So it's same as Windows 7, except that there is uh, one flaw. Um, there's a lot of the, the, the same thing as Windows 7, but with, with the exception of some flaws that are a little different. Windows 10, if you're on version 1803, that's the um, version for the April 2018 update. 46 vulnerabilities, 5 critical, 41 important. And 1809, that's the October 2018 update, 46 vulnerabilities, 4 critical, 42 important. And if you're on 1903, the May 2019 update, and also 1909 because they're getting the same updates, you have 46 vulnerabilities, 2 are critical, and 28 are important. So uh, that is what's happening. Lots of stuff that are being fixed in here, uh, anywhere from, you know, the Windows servicing stack to the um, Internet Explorer browser to Microsoft Edge browser to a lot of stuff actually in there that's uh, being actually uh, fixed. So take the time to apply these updates. I have not seen any reports of really widespread problems on these updates as of now. So it seems to be rolling out quite well. So just make sure that you apply these updates on Windows 7, 8.1, and Windows 10. Remember, if you're on the April 2018 update, version 1803, these are the last security updates. So if you're still there, you'll have to move on to a later version of Windows 10 to stay safe. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.